Is it the right time to buy or sell SoFi stock? In this video, we will be delving deep into SoFi. Our initial report was published on our website on Thursday, November 9, 2023. Today, we're here to provide you with an even more detailed analysis. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. Don't miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying out our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4, at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI today and get free price predictions and in-depth analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. As of November 6, 2023, our system has determined that SoFi is a strong sell candidate, with a score of minus 5.83. Now, let's examine how the stock performed during this period. The stock experienced a decrease of 8.54%. This means that, on average, it lost 2.14% per day since it was identified as a strong sell candidate. Currently, the stock is in a downward trend in the short term, presenting a potential buying opportunity. If the lower trend floor at $6.68 is broken, it may indicate a stronger decline. Looking at the three-month trend, there is a projected change of minus 14.38% over the next three months, with a possible return ranging between minus 16.54% and 1.75%. In terms of the 12-month trend, it suggests a potential change of 49.12% over the next year, with a possible return ranging between 48.26% and 175.39%. This translates to a price range of $10.16 to $18.86 after a year. Our latest update on SoFi brings us the headline, SoFi stock price experienced a decrease of 6.29% on Thursday. On the last day, Thursday, November 9, 2023, the SoFi stock price fell by 6.29%, dropping from $7.31 to $6.85. This marks the fifth consecutive day of decline. Throughout the day, the stock price fluctuated by 9.13%, ranging from a low of $6.57 to a high of $7.17. Over the past 10 days, the price has declined in six instances, resulting in a total decrease of 0.72%. In the latest trading session, the volume of shares traded increased by 57 million, despite the falling prices. This could be seen as an early warning sign, indicating a slight increase in risk over the next few days. Overall, a total of 84 million shares were bought and sold, amounting to approximately $578.43 million in value. Looking at the past 52 weeks, the highest price recorded for SoFi stock was $11.70, while the lowest price reached $4.24. At present, the stock price is 41.45%, or $4.85, below its 52-week high, and 75.76%, or $21.41, .41, below its all-time high on February 1, 2021, when the price reached $28.26. Today, we're going to take a look at the analyst ratings for SoFi. Let's start with the latest update. On Wednesday, October 18, 2023, Keefe, Bruyette and Woods gave SoFi a market perform grade with an upgrade action. Moving on to Thursday, August 17, 2023, Citigroup gave SoFi a buy grade with a hold action. On Tuesday, August 1, 2023, Keefe, Bruyette and Woods gave SoFi an underperform grade with a downgrade action. Let's go back to Tuesday, July 25, 2023, when Stevens gave SoFi an equal weight grade with an initialize action. Lastly, on Thursday, July 13, 2023, Morgan Stanley gave SoFi an underweight grade with a downgrade action. Analysts have generally rated SoFi stock as a strong buy. They suggest buying the stock based on its P.E. ratio and price-to-book ratio. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts have given the stock a neutral rating. Today, let's take a look at the signals for SoFi. 
Currently, there are few to no technical positive signals for the SoFi stock. Both short and long-term moving averages indicate sell signals, painting a more negative forecast for the stock. Additionally, there is a general sell signal when comparing the long-term average to the short-term average. If the stock experiences any upward corrections, it may encounter resistance at the levels of $7.55 and $7.65. However, if it manages to break above these levels, it would issue by signals. On Thursday, November 2, 2023, a sell signal was issued from a pivot top point, resulting in a decline of minus 16.16% so far. This suggests that the stock may continue to fall until a new bottom pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is currently a sell signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. It's worth noting that volume rose on falling prices yesterday, which could be an early warning sign. Therefore, it's recommended to closely monitor the stock's performance. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. The moving average convergence divergence is indicating a sell signal. Pivots are showing a sell signal 6 days ago. Bollinger bands are indicating a buy signal 34 days ago. The short-term moving average is showing a sell signal 5 days ago. The long-term moving average is showing a sell signal 5 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages is indicating a buy signal 19 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart, we see. The short moving average is showing a sell signal 5 days ago. The long-term moving average is showing a sell signal 22 days ago. The relation between the short and long moving averages is indicating a buy signal 28 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for SoFi In terms of support, there isn't much backing from accumulated volume below today's level. This means that if the right conditions arise, the stock may face significant challenges in the upcoming days. SoFi is known for its average movements during the day, and with good trading volume, the risk is considered medium. Looking at its recent performance, the stock had a price range of $0.600 between its highest and lowest points, representing a 9.13% fluctuation. Additionally, over the past week, the stock has exhibited an average daily volatility of 6.41%. Before we discuss potential trading levels for SoFi, let's start by understanding some important fundamental data. First, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, also known as the P-E ratio. This ratio compares a company's current share price to its per-share earnings. A negative P-E ratio indicates that the company is either experiencing losses or has negative earnings. It's common for established companies to face challenges at times, often due to factors beyond their control. However, if a company consistently has a negative P-E ratio, it could indicate insufficient profits and potential bankruptcy risks. Moving on, let's discuss the upcoming earnings report for Q4 2023, which is scheduled for January 29, 2024. Today, we'll be looking at some potential day trading levels for SoFi. If the stock shows an upward trend, the first resistance level for SoFi is at $6.94. If you're thinking of entering a position, it may be wise to wait for this level to be breached. For those already holding the stock, this could be a level worth considering for swing trading. It's important to note that there's no significant support from accumulated volume below. This means that under certain conditions, the stock could potentially experience a sharp drop. If you're not an experienced trader who knows how to navigate such situations, it's advisable to proceed with caution and consider placing bets only if you're confident in your abilities. SoFi has received a buy rating from multiple analyst sources. Now, let's delve into some recent insider trades. On November 9, 2023, Noto Anthony bought 44,000 shares of common stock. On November 9, 2023, LaPointe Christopher bought 14,950 shares of common stock. On November 6, 2023, Stafford Webb Lauren sold 135,832 shares of common stock. On November 2, 2023, Borden Chad M. sold 152,041 shares of common stock. On November 3, 2023, 
Webster Aaron sold 215,299 shares of common stock. Based on the 100 most recent insider trades, the insider power is calculated to be negative with a ratio of minus 22.155. In total, insiders have purchased 4,401,731 shares and sold 6,860,299 shares in the last 100 trades. Unfortunately, our evaluation for this stock is negative and we have not set a stop loss. Is SoFi stock a good buy? SoFi currently shows several negative signals and is experiencing a wide and downward trend. Due to these factors, we anticipate that it may continue to perform weekly in the coming days or weeks. Therefore, we have a negative evaluation of this stock. Additionally, our analysis has downgraded it from a sell to a strong sell candidate due to some minor weaknesses in the technical picture. Upon analyzing the volatility and movements of the last trading day, our systems have determined that the current price is undervalued. On Friday, November 10, we expect SoFi to open up by $0.0133 and begin trading at $6.86. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. We strongly recommend consulting with a financial advisor before making any buying or selling decisions regarding securities. It's crucial not to solely rely on stockinvest.us for your investment choices. By accessing and utilizing the information provided, you acknowledge and accept full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we want to share our current view of the stock market with you. We value your opinion, so make sure to comment below and let us know if you agree or disagree. We're also interested in hearing your target for this stock. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights. We genuinely hope you find success in your trading endeavors. Have a fantastic day from all of us here at Stock Invest.